Dear Mayor Kadavi, Your Excellencies, Right Honorable Mayors, Ladies and Gentlemen, one year ago we have been to Mumbai and our conference was at the Oberoi Hotel and we had a great, wonderful dinner at the Taj Mahal Terrace. And sometimes the unbelievable becomes the cruel reality. And let me say to our friends from India today that our swords are with them. Islamic terrorism, terrorism will never be done, and we will come back to Mumbai again. Considering the rapid growth of the world's cities, which is nearly overwhelming, people may no longer speak about an urban age, but about an urban revolution. At nearly metric speeds, both wealth and poverty are increasing in the world's large metropolitan areas, and the challenges connected with this development are obvious. Today, one of six residents of big cities live in the slum. There has already been a talk of a planet of slum we will face in the near future. The big cities are everything, the first world, the second world, and the third world. And everything is together in one city. I think it's very tough to be a mayor of such a city, and we congratulate you on what you're doing for the city, Mayor Khalid. But it's certain that cities nearly everywhere are the centers also of strength in the global economy thus improve, provide important contribution to countries' prosperity. Cities are the places of hope for those who come to them every day. Over the long term, we must not disappoint them. They must be able to share our city's prosperity. The wonderful London School of Economics with Ricky Burdett and Deutsche Bank's Alfred Hell Society have joined forces together with partners from Latin American cities and all over the world to shape the urban age so that it does not ultimately overpower us. It is therefore a great pleasure to welcome you to our eighth urban age conference, this time in the great city of Sao Paulo and in this great environment which is full of pictures of optimism and I think this is a very good sign we should share the optimism of those people who started these cities. At all our conferences, we all work on finding a platform for new forms of global governance in the urban age. If we are successful, and that is what we intend to be, and that we, we will be successful, uh, then researchers, city planners, architects, NGOs, mayors and government representatives from Asia, Europe, Africa, the Americas and China will together develop a ground of success for cities. I am optimistic we will achieve this. Those here today, they have all provided considerable contributions to the success of their cities. Over the course of this year, the Land School of Economics has examined the problems and successes of Latin American cities. The urban age team has been to Lima, Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro, and formerly we have been to Mexico City. And our investigations are converging here today Sao Paulo. Each of our conference cities can see itself reflected in other conference cities and thus gain ideas for their own actions. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, we all are responsible for the success of our cities, for securing an urban future, and I hope we will be able to live up to this at our conference. And it's a special pleasure for me to announce Richard Sennett, who once offered me a cup of coffee, and this cup of coffee started the urban age. Welcome, Richard Senate.